Hey guys, today is Saturday, February 20th. It's 3.30 p.m. And it's minus three degrees. My bad, guys. It's minus three degrees Celsius outside. And I did not expect to be here at the intersection of Young Street and St. Clair Avenue. I'm here in the Deer Park neighborhood and there goes by a 512 St. Clair streetcar turning at St. Clair subway station, which is on line one. And now I am walking north on the east side of Young Street and I am making this freaking light at the last second. There's a look west on St. Clair. And now I'm on the northeast corner. There's a guy wearing a Leafs jacket looking for some help. There's a look south down Young. If you're on the west side of Young, you can actually see a Young Dundas Square from here. I actually did a, uh, I did a video along St. Clair back in December, and I also took the subway down here to video. Then I transferred to the uh, St. Clair streetcar. I took it to St. Clair West. There goes by another streetcar. Deer Park is one of Toronto's most affluent neighborhoods. In fact, on my way here, I actually. Uh, recorded a, a video through the Forest Hill South neighborhood that was along Old Forest Hill Road, Russell Hill Road, and Kilberry Drive. And that took me to Oriel Parkway and uh, Upper Canada College. This here is the St. Clair Center, which is an office and shopping complex. And uh, I did not expect to be down here, but since I wasn't far from the intersection, I thought, ah, screw it, why not do a video along up Young. I've been doing videos on Young Street in different parts. I'll definitely come back down here and walk to downtown from here. So just south of here is the Rosedale neighborhood and then of course downtown Toronto which begins at Bloor Street. So I plan to walk all the way up to Eglinton Avenue West. Actually Eglinton Avenue West on the left and Eglinton Avenue East on the right. Just around uh, Davisville Station is a uh, Chaplin Crescent and Davisville Ave. Oh, there's a nice mural here. So to get here, I took some. Ooh, a car coming. I took some side streets through Deer Park from Oriel Parkway and Upper Canada College to get down here, and it's lightly snowing again it snowed earlier today as you guys know we got a lot of snow the past week but the sun is also peeking out at some times so I wanted to just do a video while it's still sunny and snowing at the same time and you can't actually see it but that's Young and Eglinton up ahead those uh, tall buildings and there is a lot of people out, guys. Young Street is a very, very vibrant street here in Toronto. Especially in downtown Toronto, where there's used to be lots of arcades, but now some notable shops, businesses, and of course, Young Dundas Square in the Eaton Center. And now I'm gonna cross over to the west side of Young because the subway, the line one subway line will emerge over ground. I'm figuring out what to tell this video because it is starting to pick up a bit. So this is Heath Street. And I'm gonna to have to walk my ass back home, which is on the on the other side of line one. There's Dollarama, an essential store. And there's Christchurch Deer Park. Man, I knew it would snow again. Yeah, you guys can actually see, I'm not sure you guys can see it, but I can see young Dundas all the way from down here. I don't know why I'm walking here, I guess because of these people.
And this is York Minister Park Baptist Church. So like I said, this is a pretty last minute video, although I have planned to do a video up here for a while. Plus, I don't live too far from here. I actually, I probably might have walked three to four kilometers from where I live near Allen Road, and uh, I'm still gonna walk back home, even though I'm avoiding taking the bus. Although, if things were better, I would probably hop on one when I get to Young and Eglinton. This here is Lodge and Parquette. It didn't snow when I was recording my last video. But let's see how how long it will snow. I'm not sure if it will for the entire video, but uh, it's good that we're getting some snowfall here on Young Street. But this snowfall is not supposed to be heavy like a past one. So the subway emerges from this tunnel here. So. We may see some subway trains in action, some 10 year old Toronto rockets. And of course, the Davisville subway yard. So, this is the very original part of Line 1. It opened on March 30th, 1954, as one single line between Union Station and Eglinton Station. Of course, everything has changed the station design, the tiles. Especially with new developments on the rise. And there is the Beltline Trail. That bridge up ahead. I've already done a video up there. And on the right is Mount is the Mount Pleasant Cemetery. And I just missed a northbound train. It's going pretty slow. So the next major street we'll be passing is Chaplin Crescent and Davisville Avenue. So I'll definitely come back. Oh, there's a southbound train. There's guys. And there it goes into that tunnel. Where we'll then bend over to the east side of Young. a lot of snow I stepped on. I think some fell on my boots too. So as I was saying, I'll definitely come back down here and do a video around Mount Pleasant, Davisville Avenue. Okay, looks like the snow starts to let up now. Look, there's some blue sky up ahead. Wow, I can't believe I am walking very close to the uh, subway tracks. A lot of people have told me that Mount Pleasant Cemetery is a very interesting place to walk through. So I'll, probably, I'll also come back down here and do a video around the cemetery. Look at this guys, we have reached the high ground. Or the middle point where the subway tracks meet Young Street. As soon as I sit there, here comes a northbound train. That train went faster than the previous one. Okay, guys, it actually, uh, it's actually, it's actually, uh, stopping now. Okay. A lot of people out and about, although it's a stay home, stay at home order. Toronto will be under that order for another two weeks, which is sad because our businesses keep struggling, but also a good thing because uh, we're still a hot spot and these emerging variants are very contagious. I also did a video down Young back in December of 2020. I started at Rosewood Avenue. 
went past Eglinton Avenue, and then I went along the trail to Oriole Park. But that video was kind of terrible because of the it was very windy, and I hope, I really hope it's not windy here. If if it is, I really apologize. I am looking into getting a uh, a wood mic or a sock. around Young and Davisville area and Eglinton. There's some condo springing near and here comes another southbound train. <laughs> Normally this part of line one would be closed almost every weekend because this part of line one has yet to have automatic train control installed which is the driverless system that's in place between Vaughan and Rosedale stations and of course major construction at Young and Eglinton because that's where they're building the station for the Crosstown line and we meet the track level again except we're going up this time and there is the Beltline Trail. I don't know if I'll post these two videos on the same day. I can take this back home, but I already plan to walk up to Young, not Young Street, Eglinton. So we're almost halfway through our journey. Is this where we are? to a work train. I think that's the H4s from the mid-70s. And up ahead, of course, is Davisville Station. You can get a close look at the work car. Surprisingly, I've never been on the, I never went on the H4s in my life, sadly. But uh, the work cars are named RT-34. And here comes another train. Even that dog is barking. That train is pulling into Davisville Station. Very good thing I'm seeing the trains in action, and here comes a southbound train also pulling into Davisville. This is Merchant Street. I can actually see that condo all the way from Mountain Eglinton. Oh, if you're living on a high rise pulling, oops, did I just say that? Davisville Station is widely known for its open hair design. And of course, Right by the station is the Toronto Transit Commission's headquarters. Recently, they voted to replace the 35-year-old Scarborough RT, which is a partially elevated life metro line that is dying, and I've yet to go on it very soon. I definitely will. And it has plans to start work on the Line 2 subway extension, which will replace the Scarborough RT. And of course, consider extensions of the Eglinton line eastward and westward. And of course, build the long overdue Ontario line, the new version of the relief line. Subway trains galore. Don't forget, I haven't been on them since last month. And I don't think I will until things get better. I'll definitely be doing lots of transit rides in the future. There's Toronto's Film School, a frickin' pub with the London Underground Roundel sign. And something smells good here. And 
There's the CN Tower. In the background, maybe you guys can see it, maybe not. Ooh, there's a parking garage underneath the bus terminal. I think that's for uh, TTC workers at the station and the headquarters too. Here's the 97 Young. Yes, there's buses running along Young Street. Local buses at least. Still have a period. I, there's no bus service at all. Well, these are in the weekends. The 97 travels between here and Finch Station. During the weekdays, you'll find some limited bus service south of Davisville Station. I'll go all the way down to Queens Key. Don't forget, the Young Street begins at the foot of Toronto. The like here goes all the way up. It comes to Highway 11 at some parts. And I forgot, this is the W.C. McCrine building. So here are at Davisville Station. So on the left is Chaplin Crescent. On the right is Davisville Avenue. And that Starbucks just closed. I think it was a victim of COVID. Or I don't I don't think so. Because I heard that almost all the Starbucks locations would be closing here in Canada. So last time I came here was January 24th. That was still active and now it's closed. I'm <laughs> very sad to see it shuttered. There's a hasty market here. So we're here at just outside of Davisville Station. So in my last video I started north of here. It came like down, 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 down here. Ooh. Man, I'm doing another long ass walk. I think next time I'll just take the bus to Young Street and back. Or next year when the LRT line opens. There's a pizza pizza. Not the best, but it's not that bad in my opinion. And it would be <laughs> Pretty weird and cool if I ran to Johnny. If you, got, you, probably, you guys may know what I'm talking about, right? Or if you're watching this, hello. I was in your area and you streamed for here yesterday. That used to be a that used to be the Toronto School for the Deaf. I think they're building some a community center or house. I'm not too sure. Condos and apartment buildings. So this is the heart of Midtown Toronto. I hate to get home. I think I'll either walk Eglinton or Roseland Avenue. Oh, that's an LCB under construction. It's going to open later this spring. Step over that slush. And it's starting to snow again. It's on and off snowing. So as I've said many times, we're going to come up to a construction disaster that's been like that for several years, although the worst of it is behind us now. There's a shopping mall and an office tower, the Young Eglinton Center, and the 
and their tunnel between the subway station and there has been temporarily closed for three years due to the construction. Of course, Young and Eglin, of course, Eglinton Station will be a another busy and interchange station when the LRT line opens. Although, just like how Young and Bloor is called Bloor Young and Young and Shepherd is called Shepherd Young, I think I just named this Eglinton Young. I'm not sure why they decided to just keep the station called Eglinton when Line 5 Eglinton runs obviously underneath that. Yeah, they could have just renamed the uh, Eglinton Young, but I guess because uh, on the other side, Line 1 is Eglinton West Station that will be renamed to Cedarvale. I don't know. I could have walked on the right side of Young. There's a St. Louis Bar and Grill. And I think it's open for takeout. So, about half a kilometer will be at Eglinton. battery doesn't run out because when this started I have like exactly half of it, 50%. I did a lot of walking and it will not come to an end when I finish up a young egg thing because I gotta walk back home. The thing is though I do not live too far from here. Now I've walked to Young Street like many times now. And the other time I just cheated and hopped on the subway and streetcar. I'll definitely be doing something like that very soon, just not in times like these. This used to be the art shop. And they closed it down to have a Staples move in place. as well as a farm boy, a new grocery store. I remember when this was under construction. But gentrification has quite changed a lot with new glass condos and uh, rising developments, especially in downtown. We have the South Core District, which is around Union Station that they even exist in the early night not late 90s early 2000s heck 22 years ago today Air Canada Center opened and if you look at shots from that time and in the early 2000s there's absolutely nothing there it was just a huge ass parking lot and uh and some rail tracks too but of course that's been uh, all of that has significantly changed in the past 20 years. And I'll have to put a video down there at some point. It wasn't cold earlier, but I think I am. My hands are starting to freeze up slightly, but I'm not even wearing gloves. I mean, I have them with me, but I'm not wearing them right now. Is open and there's the bus terminal at Eglinton station and they're also building the line 5 substation on top of the subway there it is over there almost complete not quite though and here we come to the horrendous traffic as usual around Young and Egg Been out since 2:20. I'll be out for like two hours. All walking, no public transit. 
Alors, I'll be hopping on that very, very soon. Hopefully things get better, but these stupid variants. This, this looks to be a Canadian Tires headquarters. I think there's a store here too, if I'm not mistaken. There's also a Mandarin in this building. I think I passed it already. Or not. In fact, this here is called the Canada Square. Here it is. And you'll find an, entr an entrance to the uh, subway station from here. I'm gonna try and pan. Okay, I think my hands were just sticking to the gimbal. I think I'll warm up inside Young Eglinton and take a quick break and then I'll venture off home. My hands are starting to kinda hurt and now I'm holding this with my left hand. Oh, shoot, my gimbal's acting up. Sorry about that, guys. I've never seen a bus come up through there. Don't forget, this station, the station's bus terminal used to be outside, and then it closed down in 2004. That bus terminal's been there since the mid-50s when the line opened. And, now the, and the station has been, the bus terminal has been inside this building ever since. It used to be a garage. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna hop inside the mall, take a quick break, and then I'll walk home. But we basically made it. And it's sunny again. Weather here in Toronto is pretty damn weird. And then go to the east is much worse than I go to the west, but I'll walk along there at some point. But I think I can make this light. <laughs> like I wanted to be on the video, but there is a look west than Eglinton. It. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, I'm almost at 100 subscribers, but now I'm gonna walk another 40 minutes home. But, uh, yeah. Oh, wow, the sun is shining down here. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Sorry for the glare, but uh, yeah. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Peace, guys. Stay safe. Stay warm wherever the heck you are. All right. Bye, guys.